it's very heartwarming when you get served a very hearty meal. I think you know, you use your heart to do, people will feel it. Hello, I'm Yuan Ting from Pao Kitchen. Uh, we are located at 40 New Industrial Road, so we sell pork trotters and pork belly. Okay, so for Pao Kitchen, right? Actually, my chef's nickname is Apao. So it was kind of like an interesting play on the on his name lah. And then if you look at our slogan, actually instead of the usual Jia Yo Yi Lao Ru Yi Bao, we actually put it Jia Yo Yi Bao Ru Yi Lao. So it's kind of actually a twist on the Chinese saying. I think most people would think like our Chinese is just terrible. That's why we make this mistake. But it's more of like you know well, with our food that Pao Kitchen provides, we hope that you know it provides the same kind of comfort that the elderly gives the family also. Because it means like if your house has an elderly is like having a gem, having a precious one. So actually we were both from the corporate world prior to this. Uh, and then as a as foodies we wanted to do something that has a bit more meaning that we can find passion in. So we wanted to start this FMB uh, to really create a name for ourselves and then let more people try out the food. So my chef and Kam co-owner, he has actually a history in running uh, FMB. So his grandparents used to run a hawker store in Gay World. So that's how we use the traditional family recipes to actually do up this braised pork. We serve braised pork trotters and uh, pork belly. Uh, and so one thing unique about us, we actually use our fresh pork trotters and our braised sauce to actually stir our bihun. So this is different from the canned pork trotters that you guys usually see outside. Uh, we use different herbs and spices through uh, many hours uh, over low heat to actually braise the sauce. And one thing is actually for each pork trotter and pork belly, we actually torch them by hand. So we actually have two types of chili. Uh, one is a sambal hibi hyam and one is a garlic lime. It's actually a family recipe, but we tweaked it a little so that it can suit the pig trotter. Uh, I think every family recipe has its own flavour, but then uh, this is something that we feel like uh, everyone really enjoy the food because we really put in a lot of time to uh, braise the food uh, through low heat, through different herbs and spices. I think different customers have different perception of wu zao wei and they all have different taste buds, so we are still trying to adjust our braised sauce to fit, kind of like fit the whole general crowd. So what we have actually is something that uh, is very comfortable for us growing up, our parents eat it, our grandparents enjoy it. So we are trying to assimilate that into our food here. So mainly my co-chef uh, will be the one cooking because he's the one with, I feel like the jueto it taste bud. La. So, very difficult for everyone to have that kind of feel and then if I ask him for the recipe, he'll be like, no, kao kan chue. This amount. <laughs> so he's still the one um, managing the food quality version, uh, portion while I'm doing the rest, like the operations, marketing. I think the philosophy that Bao Kitchen has is uh, we would serve customers the way that we want to serve our family. So, I think, you know, you use your heart to do, people will feel it. The history it's not really something that we want to leverage on. So we actually don't really, you know, shove this in your face and tell you like, here's my history, you know, like, this is the recipe, you know, this is the background and everything. But we just kind of want to make a name out for ourselves and uh, let people try the food that we have. Yeah. So I think slowly, you know, through word of mouth, through people trying, I think that would be a very good encouragement for us to show that, you know, actually we are doing it right. Yeah. Uh, initially, we just wanted to sell pig trotter rice and pig trotter beef hoon. And then we realised that uh, not everyone accepts pig trotter. So that's how we started to do the pork belly also. And then when we came over to this coffee shop, we realised that actually there's no place that serves uh, breakfast around here. So we thought like, you know, actually bihun would be a very good idea for everyone to have during breakfast. And then that's why we have some fried food in the morning, you know, some side dishes for everyone here to actually uh, mix together with their bihun. So for our portions, we, actually, we usually do give a little bit bigger, a little bit more because we really just want everybody to enjoy the food and most importantly to eat well and be full so that you know like we, we came from a corporate world, we know how tiring it is so it's very heartwarming when you get served a very hearty meal. Yeah. I think for now, uh, in the very short term, we just want to run this store, this location very well for us, you know like come up with the proper SOPs for everything each day 
before we start uh, thinking about opening a second store, third store. Long term wise, yes, we want to like use this place as a central kitchen so that you know this is the place where we can control the quality of food served so that you know when you see Pao Kitchen, you know like hey, it's not gonna taste very different from their flagship store. I think one thing is like to get our name, to get our food out to everyone. Because we just started one month ago. So I think even people around here, a lot of them, you know, if you don't if you don't really come back to the office, they don't really know us also. It has only been a month, but I wanna say thank you to all the customers that have been coming back, recurring, we've been seeing you every other day and I think it really encourages us by a lot. And a lot of you guys even come back to tell us like, hey, we really enjoy your food. And this is something that we really take pride because your efforts don't go unappreciated. And then to those who have not tried, if you are in the area or if you have any of the delivery platforms, uh, you can come and order from us at Paul Kitchen.